A common issue that beginner Arduino hobbyists encounter when they receive their first Arduino Uno is that they are unable to establish the communications between the Arduino Uno and the Arduino IDE, the official programming environment. While all is not lost, the issue is most common and quickly fixable. In this video we will cover why the issue occurs, how to fix it, and a few interesting pointers to consider when purchasing a microcontroller. So you just got yourself a brand new Arduino Uno from an online marketplace like eBay, Amazon or AliExpress. You plug the Arduino in, but Windows throws the unable to install device error. Even if you try to manually install the official Arduino drivers, which you can find in the same folder where you installed the Arduino IDE, you still get the this device cannot start code 10 message. Well, the issue is quite simple. The official version of the Arduino Uno costs anywhere from $20 to $30 and only comes from certain resellers. However, an Arduino is an open source project, which means that the schematics are openly available for hobbyists to try to make their own DIY Arduinos. Well, this is where some Chinese companies decided to take the schematic, swap a few parts and release their own versions of the Arduino for a mere $2 to $5 price point. Well, it just so happens that one of those swapped components is the microcontroller that's responsible for allowing you to program the heart of the Arduino, the Atmega 328 microprocessor, via the USB instead of having to deal with serial ports and serial programmers and dedicated microcontroller programmers. While the official version of the Arduino Uno uses an entire separate microcontroller with a preloaded firmware specifically coded for dealing with USB to serial communications, the bootleg version of the Arduino uses the CH340 USB to serial chip. So all you need is a driver for that chip and you are good to go. The driver can be found down in the description below and as a pinned comment. While you're looking for that, here's a fun fact. The microcontroller used for the USB to serial communications on the official versions of the Arduino Uno is the Atmega 16U, which is basically a younger brother of the main microcontroller used on the Arduino Leonardo. This is actually the reason why, unlike the Uno, the Arduino Leonardo does not require a USB to serial chip or a separate microcontroller to be programmed, considering that it comes with the built-in accommodations for USB communications. Now there are advantages of paying a little bit more and picking up the official version of the Arduino Uno, as opposed to the knockoffs. For one, the CH340 chip's entire purpose is to handle the communications and cannot be reprogrammed to do anything else, unlike the Atmega 16U chip used on the official Uno releases. For example, a popular project with the Arduino Leonardo is to take advantage of its device emulation, which, for example, allows it to appear as a keyboard and mouse device. Since the official version of the Uno comes with an essentially dumbed-down version of the Leonardo chip, with a little bit of custom firmware loading, you can, too, use the Uno for device emulation. It even allows you to appear as a gaming X input controller or even a MIDI controller where you can send and receive MIDI data straight to the Arduino via USB. So I hope you found this useful. Hit the like button if you liked it, hit the dislike button if you hated it, subscribe to join our viewership and we will see you guys next time.